So it's 9.45 here on this lovely Saturday evening, and I'll be completely honest with you guys, I didn't vlog today. Now this is, it's kind of ironic because this is episode 50 of Diaries of a Next Time Vic, and you guys already know how passionate I am about making these vlogs and engaging with my community here and meeting new people. However, sometimes the best thing you can do is to just put the camera down and spend some quality time with the family. And that's exactly what I did today. It was the first beautiful day of this year. The weather was perfect. Couldn't couldn't be better. Uh, we went out to the lake uh, right down the road from us at Creepcore. Had an awesome time together. Went to the park. And I just put the camera up, wasn't worried about vlogging because I wanted to give my family that extra attention. That I, like. I guess that's the nugget to take away from this is to put first things first and to have that balance in your life like for so long I would have always put this first even before my family because I would feel like my career is how I support my family but thanks to this book right here and the things that I'm learning in it and and my good friend Chris who uh, who has always recommended this stuff out of, out of this book uh, Chris Clinton thanks to this book though I'm starting to apply and realize you know this is great this is really important to me but my family that that's that's my that's for everything you know and in this book he gives an example this guy was getting ready to take his family out to the circus his kids that he promised they had a plan for so long and then his work called him and his boss asked him to come into work and he declined later on his wife went to say well maybe you should have went to work and his response was the work will come again childhood doesn't and that really hits home man you know it, my kids are never going to be little again. I'm only going to be able to hold them for so long. And sometimes we got to we got to sacrifice other things and and put them first, you know? And and it's great to have a balance. Now, I'm not even nearly halfway through this. I'm only on habit 2 out of 7. And he talks about start with the end result in mind. Start with the end in mind. And what he means by that is figure out all the different roles you play. Like for me, I'll give an example here. All the different roles I play, individual, husband, father, friend, business partner, all these different roles that I play in my career and stuff, I got to start with the end in mind. So I figure out all these different roles and then I start with the end result that I want with all those. And a good way he gives an example by kicking off this habit is for you visualize your funeral and everybody there. And what would you want your kids to say about you at your funeral? What would you want your spouse to say about you at your funeral? What would you want your friends to say? What would you want your coworkers to say? All that. And it's a great way to think like, yeah, you start putting things in perspective by starting with the end in mind. And when you do that, then you can write out your own personal mission statement for each one of these roles and start with the end. Like, for instance, with my children, I, I, my end result is I want to raise them to become respectful adults that don't conform to society, that, that they follow their true passion in life, their true wants and desires, the things that make them happy, instead of just doing something because they feel like that's the right thing to do. I want my children to go up, grow up and impact the world on the, on, in however amount that they're built for that they're born for but I want them to follow their purpose in life to discover and follow it and each one of these roles write that out and then you have a clear path and know where you're going and then whenever you're faced with hard decisions and and, and obstacles in life you, it won't be hard to make a decision because you will be principle centered so just wanted to leave you guys with that. I want to thank you guys for tuning in consistently, checking me out here on Diaries of an Ex-Convict. Sometimes you just got to put the camera down. I couldn't leave you guys totally hanging because I love you guys, but I had to spend some time with the family, and I want to—I appreciate you guys. So if you're digging what I'm throwing down right here on Diaries of an Ex-Convict, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and leave me some comments down here in the comments below, and I'll be back at you tomorrow with some fire content.